Watch this, I'm going to talk about something that no other MGTOWER talks about. So today's video is called, Using the Relationship as a Weapon. Now, if a woman is single, and she hits a man, she can be brought up in charges, and she might even be prosecuted and thrown in jail. But, if she's in a relationship with a man, and she hits the man she's in a relationship with, all of a sudden, this is just excused away, washed away, because relationship influenced her behavior. Right there, the relationship is being used as a tool. It goes further than that. As you know, I got pushed down the staircase by an evil bitch who got me from behind. So I took this to the courts, and they have to tell me, well, because your relationship is now split up and there's no chance of the behavior reoccurring again, we'll just drop all charges. They pulled that on me. So if she would have pulled this stuff on, let's say, her father and knocked him down the staircase, she would have gone to jail. But because it happened inside the relationship between with her and another man, it's no longer valid. Because the, the relationship might have influenced her into that behavior. A woman can walk into a man's life, tell the man she loves him, tell the man she's pregnant with his child, tell the man she wants to marry him, and just set him up like a big berry on the vine, waiting for that berry to ripen until it's perfectly sweet, then chop the berry off, stick it underneath her foot, and squash it, get away with it, walk out that door, and have no responsibility whatsoever for her deeds. Even though that in reality, it's a giant scam, it's fraudulent, and it is, like I said, a fraud. So they are committing fraud, and they are committing scams, and they are just getting away with it. When you use somebody else in life to, to get more out of life than you could achieve by yourself, you are scamming someone. And that should be recognized by all courts all over the world that scams do happen. That relationships are actually being used as tools to scam men out of their money. It is a crime. It is a theft. Not only is it a crime and a theft, it is actually emotional damaging to a man or woman who goes through the situation. Therefore, the party who is doing it to the other person should be held totally, 100% accountable. But they are not being held accountable at all because the relationship could have been used to influence that person to create the behavior. You see, even the courts act like the relationship controlled some certain aspects of the person's behavior. So even though the person was like this when they were single, when they are in a relationship, it's kind of like a get-out-of-jail-free uh, get card. So even though I went to court and I laid down my whole testimony with videos, pictures, text messages, emails, and a goodbye letter written from her, which is a total confession, where she actually confesses to everything she did, this was not enough to prosecute her right away because it all happened inside of the relationship. In other words, I may have twisted her to become so evil, is what the courts are trying to tell me. That's their justification for her behavior. If she did this to somebody while she was single, she would go to jail for a, a, a assault and battery. But because it's inside of a relationship, it's like the relationship influenced her to that kind of behavior. Is that completely insane, folks, or what? And the police are really just as bad as the courts are, because the police, whenever they hear a story from a female, act like a lawyer. Police do for women what lawyers do for men. Police listen to the entire woman's story, everything she has to say, they listen to it down to the T, they mark everything down. When a guy comes in to tell his story, it's like, okay, so this happened, this happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, we got the gist of it. And that's about it. The man does not even have a chance to defend himself in the proper manner that a woman has to build her case. That is complete insanity. It should be completely against the law. If a woman has one hour to explain her case to the police, then the man, the defendant, deserves one hour to explain his side of the story. It does not have to be that a woman makes a story up and then a man gets 15 to 20 minutes to say, no, I didn't do that, no, I didn't do that, no, I didn't do that, no, I didn't do that. But that's what happens today in the world. Women get all the time in the world, oh, he shoved a dildo up my butt, then in my ear and up my nose. She gets all the time in the world to explain that shit, and the man only gets the time to explain, answer this one question. Did you shove a dildo up her butt in her ear and in her nose? 
And the man, all he gets to say is no. And before he gets a chance to even say anything else, like we don't even own a dildo, they're off to the next question already. That is entrapment, folks. Not only is it entrapment, but it's, it's fucking diabolical evil. If a woman gets one hour to tell her story, the man deserves the same hour. There's no, this is complete nonsense in the world. And I know many men out there who've never been experiencing the false rape, which will be happening to many more men to come, mark my words on it. When a man experiences this, then he'll know what I'm talking about on this video. A lot of you men go out there and have one night stands and you keep getting lucky. You're lucky. One day it will catch up to you. But now you're lucky. And when that day catches up to you, you know what I mean. That a woman can go in for three, four hours and have an interview with, with uh, doctors and lawyers and police all at the police station. A whole trial already against your ass before you even get to defend yourself. A woman kills her child. All of a sudden she can say, the father made me do it. Me and the father are having problems, so therefore I killed the, the kid out of revenge. And she gets away with it. As if the relationship justifies a woman's behavior. A woman's behavior is no different while she's single, while as if she is in a relationship. She should be held responsible just the same in both ways. There is no more, this, this, this stupid bubble of relationship must die. They can no longer use this to bounce off all their defense, man. It's sickening. While a father is good to his children for the whole 10 years he's married, the woman gets it into her head to get divorced, to take his money away. All of a sudden, she can just claim he was a bad dad for the last 10 years when he was the best fucking father ever. Do you see how that works? Do you really think that men are be going to jail by the thousands lately? And committing suicide by the thousands lately? If they had a fair trial? They don't have a fair trial. There is no trial. It's her word versus your word, and your word means shit. And even if you come with evidence and videos and, and, and letters and... and just everything you can think of to crucify this person, the, the judge will just say, the relationship must have influenced her to do bad things. The police will say, the relationship must have influenced her to do bad things. So even though this person is completely fucking evil, has conned the man into believing in her, because the guy, that's, how, that's why we even call the guy simps. Think about why we call the guy simp. Because he loves a girl, he trusts a girl, he respects a girl, and because he does those things, he's now the simp. So in other words, if you're not evil, you're a simp. If you fall in love and do everything you're supposed to do according to nature, you're a simp. You have to be evil with these bitches, you have to become what they are. That's why I always say in those other videos, don't become what women want you to become. Because they want to corrupt your soul, man. They want to kill you. They have no love for you. They have no respect for you. Could you imagine how, how they would feel if we treated them the same way? We gave them no love, no respect, no caring, no mercy, no res no. Just get rid of them if we treated them exactly the same way they treated us? Could you imagine how they would feel? But our entire legal system is based on their opinion. I have to hear from a judge how my relationship failed in the first month when I damn well know it failed in the seventh month. And he's arguing with me back and forth because her testimony said the first month while it was the seventh. That's the insanity of this world, folks. This should no longer be happening. We should have lawyers out there who are fathers. We should have lawyers out there who are single men and afraid of this happening to themselves that go out and fight the legal system. But we don't. All we have men out there, all we have is men out there today who are taking advantage of the situation, using women for one night stands, treating the narcissists like sluts. I mean, even pickup artists, I think they're so clever. All they're doing is picking up on the psychopaths. It's disgusting. Where are all the men out there fighting the legal system? I would like to know, where are all these high-class lawyers fighting the legal system, fighting how it is? Men are dying out there. Men are going to jail because of this shit. And all the fucking rich men out there don't do a damn thing. I know for a damn fact if I was a lawyer, I'd be spending all my free time fighting against feminism. Where are all these men? All I see men do is complaining on YouTube, complaining how women are. But you don't take on the legal system. You don't fight anything. You just complain. You don't fight. I'm fighting. You fight now too. This is War Does Fire. See you all later.